you very much. I've got smear marks all over my window. No problem. Well, how much is it? Yeah, how much is it, Lonnie? Oh, yeah, uh, price of a cup of tea, please. Well, how much is that? How much is tea, Lonnie? You don't know? 50p. Finally! Look, can I give you a tip? Be a bit more precise. Thank you. Goodbye! Hey, nice guy. Patronising git. All right, Lonnie. All right, Bunt. Nice day, innit? What are you talking about? It's fucking freezing. Come on, let's get a cup of tea. Well, the squeeze didn't go in. Right. Uh, yeah, some of the drivers are a bit, you know, difficult. Yeah, well, we're gonna clean up once we get going. Don't you worry. <laughs> yeah, come on, Sam. Oh, that could murder the cheese and pickle sandwich. So how much do you make then? Is that it? That's what I was thinking. Yeah, well, we haven't really got going yet. 60, 70, 80. You've only got an upper two teas, eh? What about some sandwiches? You must be joking. Hold on, eh? Two teas, then. Shit, I'm hungry. We can go down the Harry Kushner's later. Oh, fan fucking tastic. Something happened to me this morning. Lucky you. I fell asleep on the tube. Ended up at the end of the line. Hey, Lonnie, you told that guy in the car that two was 50 pence. Well, it's only 35. Carry on, Ray. You're on the tube and... Yeah, well, this woman gets on and sits down opposite me. I mean, in an empty carriage, she sits right in front of me. Yeah, so what? Well, I glanced up and she was looking right at me. You know, it was like she knew me. But I'd never seen her before. She was a vision. Now, there's no other word for it. Thanks, mate. Uh, you were, um, uh, what's it, hallucinating? You hadn't eaten anything. <sighs> Not a feeling. Yeah, 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 I suppose so, yeah. So, then? So then the train pulled into her station. And? You didn't. Engage her in conversation. Engage her in conversation. Once this is a year 2000, in case you haven't noticed. What I mean is, is you didn't follow her, did you? She smiled at me. She smiled at you? I mean, no one smiles at me these days. Particularly not young women. Right. Which tube line was this again? What do you do then, Ray? Well, the doors closed. The train started pulling out of the station when I saw something. It was a sign. You pulled the alarm? You idiot. But it just came to me. Shit, you probably brought your network to a standstill. I didn't have any choice. I would never have caught her otherwise. You didn't follow her, did you, Ray? Why don't you just catch her up, give her back her bag, and then wallop, engage her, you know, in conversation? Or you could have just given her back her bag. Uh, darling, what? And waste the opportunity. Opportunity? <laughs> what opportunity? She didn't leave her bag on purpose. Is she right? Right? I don't really know. You know, I couldn't help myself. I just had to follow her. I don't really know why. Sounds a bit strange, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. It's not as if you entered the building or anything, did you? Door wasn't locked, was it? It was a dance studio, all mirrors and white walls. She was part of some kind of, you know, dance group.
<laughs> it's warm. It's nice. Nobody minded. I don't get it. Why's she being so nice to you? Well, why shouldn't she? <laughs> well, no offence, Ray, but um, you're homeless, jobless, unshaven, and you've probably smelled better too. I can't smell anything. Well, that is because you smell even worse once. You know, I mean, what was she up to? Well, I don't know, it was strange. But somehow I felt different. You know, like before. Oh, yeah, you know, now you mention it, there is a, a slight... For fuck's know, sake, Von, stop interrupting me! All right, there's no need to get Before! All... What, Ray? Well, you know, like I used to have a few problems with the old drinking and that. Yeah, well, never mind. Ancient history, eh? Thing was, sitting there watching them didn't seem to matter anymore. And get. You say that word one more time, I'm gonna engage my fist in your face. Well, why shouldn't I? What, like, like you could just walk up to a girl you didn't know and engage her in what you would call conversation? Um, looking like that? No, but if I'd had a wash and a, a shave and a, a bit of a manicure. She's got a mile, believe me. Actually, she waved at me. She, she waved at me? Yeah. She waved at me. What are you with? Nothing. Problem, boss. Well, who the fuck are you? What are you doing here? He was a the guy then. And who was the big bloke with him? It was that singer, Dubby D. And his bodyguard. A bodyguard? Shit. Well, what do they do, Ray? Chuck you out? Oh, no. No, we all had a bit of a chat. Right, who's with you? What? Look at the state of him. Maybe he's a stalker, boss. Or a pervert. God, you smell. Oh, come on, put him down. No way. He looks harmless. Yeah, that's because you ain't never been stalked before. You're the one who's been sending me them letters, innit? What letters? Well, did you send them letters? No, I didn't. Are you just some kind of pervert? No, I'm not. I'm a dancer. <laughs> dancer? You said you were a dancer. But I thought you used to work in an office. Yeah, well, he's not a dancer. He made it up. Ah, oh, right. Did you write them letters, Ray? Of course he didn't. It was a case of mistaken identity, wasn't it? They came on a bit strong, though, didn't they? Calling you a stalk and all that, just because you're... Well, <laughs> you must have legged it out of there faster than... What's his name? That very fast runner. Not exactly. Oh, you're a dancer. Oh. Let's see you dancing. Let him down, Lawrence. No, it's all right. I'm sorry. I'll, um, I'll go. No, no, really. I'd like to see what you can do. I mean, maybe we could uh, use you in the vid. No, 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 no. You wouldn't like it. Well, why don't you let me be the judge of that, eh? got the right club. I can't really do it. But you can't dance, right? No, I can't. But then how could you? I don't know. I really don't know. My feet seemed to have a life of their own. They were leading me just as much as she was. And then I found I was leading. And somehow I knew exactly what to do.
You don't say that, boss. Lawrence shut it, all right? I didn't really want it to end. But when it did, I felt like a bleeding matador. So you can dance. Can I? I've got to say, man, that was amazing. Do you want to be in my vid? Cool. Bennett. WD asked you to be in his video. Mum, he's famous, right? What do you say? Well, I said I'd love to, but that I promised to meet me friends. <laughs> Who's that then? Well, you two, of course. Us? You turned down dancing with WD to wash windscreens with Bonson, mate. You tit! <laughs> you right, Bons? That must have been great, Ray. Yeah, it was. I don't think I'm gonna make it habit this. So there you go. On the house. Best story I've heard in weeks. Ah, oh, cheers, mate. Oh. Cheers, mate. Man, you showed him, Ray. You really showed him, you maniac. <laughs> cheese and pickle. <laughs> Come on, let's go after we're gonna clean up this afternoon. I fucking know it! <laughs> That's the spirit. Come on. <laughs> Thanks, mate. See ya. What? Tell me you didn't just make that all up. No, of course I didn't. <laughs> like, fuck you didn't. Oh, yeah. Don't tell Bonsa. You know what he's like. He'll believe anything. Yeah. Know what you mean? <laughs> <laughs>